37. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. <clears throat> and don't forget, folks, Steve does an outstanding show here every trading day, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter. You come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right on the right-hand side, Mastering Probability. You can get Mastering Probability for one year, for and, uh, one month for $149. Six months for six ninety five, which is a savings of one hundred ninety nine dollars or twenty two percent, and one full year for eleven ninety five, which saves you almost six hundred dollars, five hundred ninety three dollars or thirty three percent. They all come with a thirty day money back guarantee. Come on over, hit that button, and you will be off to the races. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, I was actually just texting with my daughter, who is in London. She and three friends flew over to London. You're not going to believe this. To see the Taylor Swift concert. Wow. It was cheaper for them to fly over there, buy tickets, than to get good seats at where they, she lives up in Atlanta, but any place in the U.S. How and, cool and, is that? And she, wanted to, she wanted a little vacation. They all wanted a little vacation, but she was texting me and sent me a list. She said, which of these bottles of sake should we get with dinner? You know, you got to love, love being a dad, right? You got to love that, man. I mean, you talk totally. about a thinking woman. Wow, that is so cool. I love that when that happens. I mean, think about it. She gets to go to London. It's cheaper yeah. than it is in the U.S. Have a blast. Exactly. What a brand exactly. uh, Taylor Swift is. Huh? Oh, man. Oh, yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know a single one of her songs necessarily, but, you know, but uh, it, it is quite, a, like you said, it's quite a brand that she has uh, put together. Pretty right cool, there. man. And yeah. of course, he, yeah, she has the sake father, so she's all set with the best sake. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'd, sent, I'd sent her a text the other day. One of my favorite restaurants over there yeah. is called Zuma, Z-U-M-A. Okay. Um, and there's a handful of them around in the in the U.S. And it's just a, over there, though, was the original one. Just a great vibe and everything. So uh, I'm not sure if that's where she's at tonight. But it was cool just to get that text just before that cool? I was coming, you know, coming on here with you. So, no doubt. Hey, you know, one of the tools, one of the things that I had added to the uh, newsletter report is this chart that we have up here on the screen. Okay. And so I know a lot of people will listen in and they can take a snapshot of this. And, and I would suggest that they do that. And I'll describe to you what this report uh, does. So I take all of the uh, uh, most, the, the more popular future contracts, uh, the index ETFs, you know, SPY, Q, Diamonds, yes. IWM, each of the sectors in the S&P 500, our top 10 uh, NDX 100 stocks. Uh, uh, stocks, yeah, the top 10 in the Dow, and then, a, and then a few others. For example, you had a call from Costa, and uh, he was asking about... Um, Newmont. Yeah. Newmont. Newmont Mining. Here, for example, somebody, uh, a subscriber asked me to just keep a Nico Eagle in. So if you take a look at this bottom row, I took a snapshot of this, um, you know, maybe a half an hour ago. It's trading at 8080. Uh, I also identify the structure, or, or, or what I... How I identify utilizing my tools, what the message of the market is, and for the daily time frame, the current outlook, like you identified, you you mentioned this to uh, to cost as well. Nico Eagle is in a breakout bull mode out there. Yes. Now, what this also does, and the benefit of this uh, tool out here for these popular inst instruments, is it identifies support, whether it's a daily TD9 count support, and that's another tool that you know I share with folks and teach them how to utilize inside the uh, uh, workshops that I put together. But in the case of, so if you're looking for someone trading Nico Eagle and you're asking where's levels of support? Well, you've got a breakout level support down at 64, uh, 65. You've got profile support at 78.16. So, you know, just a few dollar move to the downside, you touch that area and you close back above it, no big deal. Support here, so, so um, these also help to identify for folks that let's say are long an instrument or short instrument, uh, where to add. To the position, and so you've got 78.44 for Ignico Eagle is an oscillator and change line uh, tool that I use nice. out there. So, so just to, for the popular instruments, it's really you know you can start each day as well as the end of the day. I put it in my end of day reports as well. So I thought I'd share that with you and the listeners out there. No, last that, week, that is great. And, week, and folks, yeah. remember this program's archived. So what Steve's showing, you can yeah. see it all. If you're in the car, you can see it all. And of course, you can get his newsletter. But tonight, as you're coming home and getting out of your car, don't go pulling up right now, but you want to look at this list. It's, a, and the, it's an extensive list, folks, okay? This took yes. up the whole screen. Okay, yeah, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, it's great. It's great. Last last week, uh, Jacob and I, we were talking about the Dow. So I wanted to just switch this up this week for the S&P 500. Yes. 
And um, so this is the 96 year seasonal cycle. That's all the data that I've got. And on this chart here, it says beware of September. If you look at the bottom right uh, monthly average, you can see September is just the, the worst performance of a month. You got February and May, which aren't the best. And so what this shows us is that typically on a uh, on a uh, uh, 96 year cycle, we typically see a top towards the end of September. So towards the end of next week. So I just want people to be aware of that. Now, we don't use this, Tom, as a right to the day guideline. It's more with regard to, you know, what's going on, what what's the typical seasonal cycle. And then we look for top or bottom signals out here. Yes. I've reduced it from 96 years. Somebody might say, hey, that's a ton of data. About 25 years. Well, here's a 25-year cycle. And this, too, this suggests that the average, on average, over the 25-year period, you get a top around September 10th. If we look at a 15-year seasonal cycle, this suggests we get a top right around September the 16th. So folks should be just kind of noting those dates out there. The 96-year presidential. So we first looked at the 96-year period uh, that had all the years. You can see the check boxes up above show you the presidential election years. And in this case here, this suggests that we would see a top right around September the 7th out there. And again, all those that were showing top show us moving down into the September or October time frame. Here's a 25-year presidential cycle, which has only got really uh, six data points out there. So not as good, but even here, this tells us we should anticipate or expect a top in the S&P uh, uh, August 28th through September 2nd out there, a 10-year cycle. When I say 10-year cycle, I'm talking 2024, 2014, 2004, each 10 years out there. This tells us we typically see a top around August the 25th. So what's interesting here, Tom, is if we go through all the cycle charts that I can come up with, Yes. Uh, even if I look at even year cycle charts, they all suggest that we should see some kind of top between August 25th and the, and the 7th. What we didn't know last week when Jacob and I were on was, uh, it, was September going to form a top or a bottom? because it can do both at this stage here. And with this rally that's going on, what it's signaling to me is that it's going to be the top. So we didn't know that next last Monday, but I believe we do that. We do know that now. We should expect and anticipate a top. This is the daily S&P 500, daily, weekly, and monthly. And on the left-hand side, what folks should see is that we are in bar number seven. Okay. And we know that when we get to a, a TD9 count pattern, it's typically bar number, well, it, the high has to, and this is what we're talking about highs, that has to occur, Tom, on bars eight, nine, or the bar following nine. In fact, if we move over and take a look at the weekly chart, this formed a TD9 count top on the bar following bar number nine. It also formed a Rhodes momentum indicator top that took price back to support, which was that breakout level, 5142. Wow. One of those levels that were really identified in that first uh, set of charts that we looked at that uh, I where I gave people that information. You'll see a TD9 count top that's going to form uh, next Friday inside on a monthly basis. So when we put this together, what, what I would suggest is that we're going to form bar number seven today. This tells me that the S&P 500 is likely to top between tomorrow and Thursday of this week out there. Um, so that's so even though that's sooner than the than the dates that we were looking for, again, I really use that as more of a guideline yes. versus right to the day. Uh, the S&P 500, this is going to be the eighth straight day of higher closes to the upside. That alone is pretty significant out there. It doesn't mean we're going to get a pull back, but we're certainly getting very, very close to that. Now, if I take a look at the other indices out here, the Dow Diamonds, the NDX 100, the Sox, the Composite, um, they're all the same category where they should form a top between tomorrow and Thursday. Hey, folks, it's time to get Steve's newsletter right now. Real easy. Come over to our website at TFNN. Hit that newsletter button. It's on the right-hand side. Hit Master and Probability. You are off to the races. Steve, have a great one, safe one. Of course, we look forward to the show tomorrow. Thanks, Tom. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Many trading news.